The question is whether NH3, this is ammonia, is an electrolyte or a non-electrolyte. So the first thing we want to look at, an electrolyte, that's something that dissolves in water. Ammonia, it does dissolve in water. We put this in water, it'll form an aqueous solution with water. But it produces ions, and these ions, they allow electricity to be conducted through the water. So let's talk about ions and conducting electricity. You put ammonia in water, it will actually react, it'll set up an equilibrium, and you'll have these ions here. You'll have the ammonium ion, that's going to be aqueous, and the hydroxide ion, that's going to be aqueous as well. So we have our ions, it dissolves, we know that it's an electrolyte, but how much does it dissolve? Because that'll influence how much it conducts electricity. So if you had a one molar solution of ammonia, that's one mole of NH3 in one liter of water, only 0.42% of this ammonia is going to convert into the ammonium ion and then this hydroxide ion here. So very little will actually dissociate and form ions. Because of that, we say we have an electrolyte, but it's a weak electrolyte. So NH3 is considered a weak electrolyte. And that's because it does form these ions, just not very many of them. I recommend you memorize that ammonia is considered a weak base and a weak electrolyte. This one comes up quite often in chemistry. <laughs> this is Dr. B answering the question whether NH3 is an electrolyte or a non-electrolyte. It's a weak electrolyte. Thanks for watching.